so hope it works now sorry for that playing with these filters obviously <laughs> messed up the landscape mode and now i need to wait again until vincent gets the information that i started but i don't want to one didn't want to bother you with hello whoever is coming here oh claudia nice to see you yes vincent i am letting you in yeah i hope that works yes <laughs> ah now okay okay i was okay oh. this way now i need to come here hey <laughs> hey i'm rather dark looking i'm gonna get some lighting one moment <laughs> yes hi claudia <laughs> We are doing this in English. I guess you can understand. Yeah. Let there be light. Yes, let there be light. There was en light. Enlightened Vincent. <laughs> oh, I like that. Thanks, Clana. That's sweet. Hello, and what's today's topic, Clana? Today's topic, I already forgot. <laughs> Ooh, it's... Now. No, it was something. If Do you want to be... Right? Or do you want to be successful? Or oh, happy? Yes. Or connected? Yes. Yes. Or rich. But yeah. Ooh, or rich. having a sex. Or oh, so whatever. Sex successfully rich and happy. Yes. And sex, love, yeah. and money is, is our topic anyway <clears throat> on our retreat. Huh? So it sucks. It's, it's, do you want to be right or do you want to be sexed, <laughs> loved, and moneyed? <laughs> Because you will not be both. Isn't that right, Tana? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, great, Claudia. Anyway, that you just popped in. Schön, dass du gerade hier mal drin warst. <laughs> Auch wenn du gleich wieder verschwinden bist. Okay. So, uh, yes, Sex, Love and Money is our retreat in Wales. Hi, Katrin. Nice to see you here. Mm -hmm. And the topic today is, do you want to be right or do you want to be successful? And I want to be I have, right, Clana. Mm, you know, mm. no. Mm. Oops, what's that? That's you. <laughs> My, that's me, yes. I don't like mm. to have me at the echo. <laughs> uh, there we go. So, so you, do, you want to be right today. Okay. Mm. Good. What right. are we doing about that today, then? Whatever I want. What, what do I'm, you want? I'm right. So what do you want to be right you're about? wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> right about um, you being late and not getting Me the recording late. right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Having to do you're, it twice. Right. Klarna. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Again, because Tough. just because I, I was playing around with these filters and that messed yeah. up the whole story yeah and because so, of you i'm getting stressed this is uncomfortable ha. for me i'm starting to get hot and sweaty and it's your oh. fault clana yeah oh, oh yeah you do this all guy. the time yeah oh. yeah oh. You. yeah yeah oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. okay so, i, will I guess you a for, little bit honey for me being right is about making you wrong hmm really yeah yeah, okay. or something external, the weather, the government, circumstances, ah, yes, other people, whatever it might be. Yeah. But on Instead this occasion, of taking... responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. Responsibility for yourself. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is one topic. Yeah. And <clears throat> I, I have an example. Okay. Oh, tell us. Because as, as almost everybody knows, I was traveling for ages <laughs> and I came back. Sunday night, late with delayed flight. So it was around one o'clock when I entered my apartment. One a.m. Yeah. Ooh. So, and um, I have a young guy staying with me at the moment, and he should have known that I'm coming back. So, obviously, the two of us have a little bit of a different uh, sense of length. 
Linus. Linus, thank you for helping me out. This is a word that's really difficult. Uh, so we ha obviously had a different sense of cleanliness and order. I saw it right away. <laughs> he was not there when I came home. He was out. And so I started to unpack my stuff and I decided to not be upset. And this worked well because I'm trained enough for the last years in doing those things. Hi, whoever comes in. We are talking about, um, do you want to be right or successful? And I'm telling a story <laughs> where I, uh, yeah, I succeeded. Let's say it like that. Because I didn't want to be right in that very moment. And I, I wasn't upset when I came home and saw, nah, if I would say that mess, it would, it would be a little bit too much. But mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't in the, in the, like I would expect it when I come mm -hmm. home. So, uh, and I decided to not be upset. In former times, I would have gone through the roof when I've seen that. <laughs> and I was really calm. And when I unpacked my, I have unpacked my stuff. So he came home and uh, we, um, what's that? Take each other in the arms. How do you say that? Sometimes I have really bad blackouts. <laughs> Take each other in the arms. Yes. Yeah, so like that sounds hello. like a dance, Clana. <laughs> to say hello. <laughs> Embrace? Yes. Mm -hmm. say, okay, so I said, oh, he said, nice to see you. I said, yes, nice to see you too. <laughs> and then, hmm. Obviously, we have a different sense of cleanli cleanliness and order Perfect. here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just said a little bit what, what was going on, sand on the floor, and uh, he had some rules for me before I left. <laughs> I gave him the rules, and I, I think I forgot to put on that no sand in the apartment. So sand from the um, beach, Clana. Yes, so that exa exa exactly. Exactly. This, this sand young from man is not four for... years old. But... <laughs> <laughs> no. He's in his twenties. So that was one thing. And in the kitchen, the stuff was not quite where it should be. And so, okay, he immediately said, "Okay, I will fix that." And I asked him, yeah, when are you going to going out tomorrow? Because he, he was to go, has to, had to go to work. And the times he told me, I said, okay, but when do you want to clean that up then? He said, okay, I'm starting right now. And the vacuum cleaner I can do tomorrow morning at 8.30 or so. I said, yes, you can. So I succeeded in not being, uh, um, not being upset and just addressing the thing in a more fun way. And I got immediately uh, the response that he, that he did it. He made order. And, he um, can... and what, what would have been the, the, um, the alternative response that wouldn't have generated the result that you desired oh i could have said you know what i'm coming home here how does that look like and you got complaining the rules. Yeah, complaining blaming everything Cri yes criticizing and, yes criticizing <laughs> and i don't know how he would have reacted if you if he if he would have cleaned it up but uh, maybe he would, but at least we would have a poisoned atmosphere here. And this is what I don't like. Mm. Hi, whoever is there, Andrew. That's my gorgeous friend, Andrew. <clears throat> Love yeah. to see you, Andrew. That's yeah, my so, gorgeous friend. <laughs> so what I'm hearing there, Clana, is the, um, the approach you took was one of lightness. Mm -hmm. And that's what you hit him with, with this lightness. Yeah. And his response was positive. Yes. And you, you, you got what you wanted. Yeah. But the other way is to nag and criticize and blame and oh. make him feel bad. And then you might still get what you want, but you will have lost him. Exactly. And by, by that, what we know is that 
we can we can get people to comply but we don't want people to comply out of obligation or threat we want them to comply out of desire out of wanting to do it and doing it with a spirit of contribution and this is what it sounds like you got with this guy where he was willing and able and he had a motivation to do the right thing yes and that was an amazing example of the difference between being right and making him wrong or creating a spirit, a team spirit where Mm -hmm. he turns up and he performs uh, willingly. So I want to acknowledge you for that, Klana. Thank you. And And I'm very happy for him. I'm very happy for him because when he's cleaning up in future, he's not going to be feeling that negative, heavy, dense energy of having been made to feel bad. Mm. He'll probably do it with a lightness and maybe even a whistle <laughs> as he goes about doing it. And this is, this is what you've caused by your, your choosing to, to be successful rather than choosing to be, to be right. Yes. <clears throat> and I, can, I want to take that further because... Um, of, uh, two people or yeah at least two people who are sharing temporarily or longer an apartment they usually have different opinions about different things so <laughs> even though he cleaned up it wouldn't it wasn't like i would have done it yeah mm. mm-hmm. and now it's again upon me how to react on this and as well i decided more for the harmony part Mm. And one or the other thing I did by myself, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I like I wanted to have it, and I don't stay on it and and wait until he does it the way I want to have it. And then mm. and then some some other places, okay, it is like it is. There now stuff is at different places. Okay, this is how life is, and nothing happens with that. And I'm I'm emphasizing this because I was not like that at all. I was so picky with those things. <laughs> and I made but, a drama out of the littlest thing, the smallest thing that was not yeah. in my in my way. <laughs> mm-hmm. But but you you weren't like that, Clana. But how you are now is you've learned the skills and the tools in how to win men. Yeah. And, and I'm an example of that. So you and I are in collaboration. And I turn up willingly with enthusiasm and with, with a desire to, to play this game. Rather yes, than, I acknowledge uh, you for that, Vincent. It's such a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, the pleasure is mine too, more so, because there, it's an unusual dynamic. Mm-hmm. The, the, the usual dynamic out in the world is competing, complaining, mm-hmm. criticizing, being stingy, manipulation, people playing with these like strategies because it's, it's a very, very much like I need to have what I need and I'm right and everybody else I'm against the world. But you have this mm-hmm. way of creating collaboration, creating team spirit and having me feel good about even the things I get wrong. And you do it with such clarity no blame, no shame, but just pointing out, just show, giving me feedback. And then I, I have a desire to improve. I have a desire to perform at a higher level. And again, I'm not, I'm not carrying any emotion from you, any feelings of guilt or, or shame. And this makes all the difference because then I'm light and I'm agile and I'm motivated and I'm clear and I'm not having to, I'm not having to figure out what the hell it is going on behind your words because when when people when people are right there's a there's like a, a program running behind that's driving their need to be right and often that comes underneath the the words that are spoken and for us men particularly we have to try and decode that and we're not very good at it and so it just frazzles our brains and i don't get that with you and i and this is what we want to bring to to the world to other other connections and communications and contributions and partnerships is to create this nature, this way of being 
in, in quite a, a complex and important project, which it is for both of us. But the way we are together is light and it's loving and it's fun and it's, and it's free of all of the baggage and the negative crap that so often interferes with people's collaborations and their business, making money, how they are with their clients, with their family, with their friends. So if this is something, ladies, that you're interested in, our retreat in Wales, which is on the 13th, the 14th and the 15th of July, we still have tickets available. Give us a call or visit the website, which is sexloveandmoney.eu. Uh, there's more details and the ability to purchase tickets. Yeah. Hmm. That was very well said, Vincent. <clears throat> I get great <laughs> feedback, Clana. <laughs> and it help and it helps me improve. <laughs> okay, uh, ladies and uh, also gentlemen, you are gentlemen, you are not allowed to in that retreat. <laughs> But if you are interested in that topic, you can contact us anyways, and we will figure out what we have for you. Yes. Clana, I have one more point I'd like to share. Yeah. <clears throat> and that is, in my experience, when I am being right, it is exhausting. When I have to hold oh, on to a perspective or a belief and I have to defend it, and I have to bring lots of energy to try and keep it in place, it's exhausting. And it takes mm -hmm. my attention away from the beauty of life and all that's around me. If I'm so focused and my attention is on this, this model of being right, it's like, it's like blinkers that they put on the horses when the horses are running, where they're just focused on what's immediately in front of them. And then all of this, all the other people, all the opportunities, all the gifts and wonder of life, is missed and and at the end of the day i'm not going to get to bed and feel like i've had a, a wonderful day i'm going to be mm. get, going to bed angry resentful in a combative mood feeling wounded feeling disconnected it's really not a pleasant way to be and we'd like to train and show women how to get to another way of being where at the end of the day they feel connected they feel contributed to they feel loved they feel acknowledged they feel seen and they feel um full of energy and full of life and yeah. instead of the opposite yeah it's just a different way of being with yourself and the world and it's delicious yes <clears throat> yes so retreat 13th to 15th of july I will put the links up there where you can contact us. Fantastic. See you all next week. Klana, it has been a pleasure okay. as always. Likewise. Bye. Ciao, my love.